Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a McNemer pairwise comparison which is can be used as a follow-up on a Cochrane test. Uh, this is actually the same as performing a Cochrane test on only two variables. Um, the Cochrane test in itself uh, was discussed in some previous videos, either by using the legacy dialogues or uh, using the newer related samples option. Now note that with the related samples option there is already a postdoc test which is the done test but if your heart is really set on the McNemer one you can also perform that with SPSS. In which case you go for analyze and then go for non-parametric tests and then uh, go for the uh, uh, legacy dialogues and then use uh, two related samples. Then uh, we move up here. You uncheck the Wilcoxon and s check the McNemer and then create every possible pair. So in my case that's um, the uh, Pate de Movies uh, sorry, Pate de Munt versus and the Movies, then Pate again but then versus Tushinsky, and then Pate again, but then versus the Arena that covers all the Pate ones, then the movies versus Tushinsky, and and then the movies versus uh, Arena, and last but not least Tushinsky versus uh, Arena. So in this case I have six possible pairs. I had four variables, you can calculate how many you need by simply taking the number of variables that you have, which in this case is four, um, then subtract one which in this case would be 4 minus 1 would be 3 to multiply those two results 4 times 3 equals 12 and then divide by 2 to get the 6 so I didn't miss out on any of them click on OK or you can first actually click on options sorry about that if you really want you can first also select the descriptives that might be useful then click on OK and then you get the cross tab so you actually see all the results one by one and then down here are actually the results of the McNemer tests and as you can see uh, this one seems to be significant this one this one uh, this one and only these two are not however because we've done six tests we actually if you want to apply the Bonferroni adjustment for the pairwise comparisons you need to actually multiply these by the number of tests that you've done so in this case uh, the 0, 0.000 will still be below 0 0.05 you can double click on the output double click on the value to actually see all the results but times uh, 6 this will still be significant this one however will not um, so the, this is about 0 0.02 times uh, 6 that will go above the 0 0.05 this one most likely will actually stay uh, 4 times uh, 6 is uh, 36 so it will become 0 0.036 which is still uh, below the 0 0.05 this one unfortunately will go above uh, so this one times 6 becomes bigger than 0 0.05 and these two of course also of course this will be even bigger than uh, 1 and this one as well so then usually the adjusted significance will be simply reported as 1 so that means that after the Bonferroni adjustments according to the McNemer pairwise comparisons only the Munt versus the movies and the Munt versus Arena are still significant which was actually the same result as we had with the done test okay and that's how you can do a pairwise comparison uh, using the McNemer test for a post hoc of the Cochrane Q test. 